And, and I'm not sure if it was text or email, but he definitely <laughs> threw that one down. And even three on three break. Teague with the ball, now guarded by Alfala. Teague kicks to Millsap. That's good, and so Teague with the assist. And that's now 10 points for Millsap. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. And New York making a change. Galloway's checked in. It's extra time here. Just over a minute into overtime. Anthony left side. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. Let's go, yes! to Galloway. Anthony against Schroeder. And the shot is good. Now it's a three-point New York lead. I mean, he was great in his last game, Clark, and clearly he has not lost that love and feel. T dishes the splitter. Passes it to Horford. Stolen. It's three on three on the fast break. From eight. And too long on the shot. The Hawks trail by three. Fast break. Here we go. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Well, just take a look at what Horford's done tonight. Eight rebounds and a couple of great-looking rejections. So far, two blocks. Yeah, you know, he's had a great feel for their ball movement down low and for where to be when the shot's going up. And Al Horford drops them both. He's really the guy you want on the stripe in that situation. I mean, there's no doubt about it. He's clutch. Let's go, Nick! And here is Anthony. And stolen by Splitter. Millsap left side. Outside Teague. The dish to Splitter. Rocket six. That's a two from Corver. Shot is off. And New York will come the other way. I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. You know, I think that's probably a smart move. I think so too. You know, guys, when you push it hard like that on the break, those are the easy buckets that'll be waiting for you. Now, here's Teague on the wing. Corver jacks up a three. It falls! And, oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Here's a follow. Pass to Persingas. Feeds it to Galloway. Outside Anthony. Let's go. Oh, and he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. Another tie, and we're going to have a second overtime. We might wrap it up in regulation. Then it looked like overtime number one might yield a winner. But instead, the overtime periods are piling up. And guys, still no winner yet. And it's the Knicks with the ball. Inside. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And really, the defense fouling there to, to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one.
Second free throw, no good. Even with the miss, he got the big one there to put him in front. Kicks it to Splitter. Down low, cuts off the pass. One on one fast break. Here's Persingis. Corver with the defensive effort. Atlanta's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Lopez with the steal. Let's go, yes. Now Anthony and Kyle Corver picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. There's the pick. Inside, here's Persingas. Terrific swat. Right side quarter, taken away by Anthony. Out to the wing. Dishes to a flower. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Oh, no, you hate to see that. Those are just the kind of errors that can cost you in a game like this. Teague with the ball. And it's Corver in the corner. And that comes off the assist by Jeff T. And 12 points in the game for Kyle Corver. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're losing by one. 146 left in the second overtime period. Good stuff. Here's a follow. A picture perfect screen play, and the jumper's good. And the Knicks lead by one. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. Got sloppy in a close game. You have to take advantage of every opportunity. Now the feed to Anthony. Oh. And, and guys, right now, the defense mentally not fair. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run, don't you think? Clark to the hoop for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. And the replay, of course, presented by Kia. What a play. And the whistle blows. It'll be on Tiago Spurs. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Anthony drawing the double team. Out of bounds. Atlanta takes possession. He tried to squeeze past the defender, but ran out of room. Outside T to the middle. Here's Splitter and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Good game for Splitter. He's got 12 rebounds and he's blocked a shot today as well. And he's clearly showing off his smarts in a few ways today. That block just being one of them. I just Savvy, savvy basketball player. 
that's good going one of two from the line and that brings them within two here. Yeah, being down two points instead of one, thanks to the free throw miss, makes getting a stop here absolutely critical. Down low, it's tipped. It's thrown by Corver. Four on three break. Here's Millsap. Yes! And, and Kevin, maybe the play of the game right there. A tremendous instinct straight to come up with a steal and then attack the basket. Game changer right there, guys. An unbelievable play to make at this stage of a really tight ball game. Here's Anthony. Money! This is what happens when you allow Carmelo Anthony to heat up. Here's Teague. He kicks to Horford. Puts up the baby hook. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And they had a foul to give, but you want to use it on the ground. Yeah, I agree with you there, but at least they did get the clock stopped. That is the one saving grace of that situation. And no good on the second free throw, so he goes 0 for 2 there. Balanced scoring block for him. They're moving it well. Yeah, you love to see teams share the sugar. Everybody getting a touch. Everybody enjoying an opportunity to score. That makes it a lot of fun for everybody on the court. You know, it sounds better when you say it than watch it. Okay? <laughs> I like better when you say it. Sharing the sugar. <laughs> down on that sugar intake though, Clark. But anyway, everybody's been involved in this offense here early on, and it has a way of helping you defensively. <laughs> Here's Teague. Connects! They ran that inbounds play perfectly there to get the quick hitter. Calls timeout. They're in front by two. Five seconds left to play in the second overtime period. Could not get a winner with just one. Anthony kicks to Galloway, and so they foul intentionally. Had to foul, and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And you know what, Gary? Who knows? A few misses at the strike. And they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making. Atlanta calls timeout. They're behind by three. Just four seconds left to play in the second overtime of quite a heated game. Guys, what's your take? With this much time remaining, they should be able to get themselves a decent shot at the basket. Still, a contested three is never an easy shot. So a close game sees New York take this one. Clark, a double overtime game can really take its toll on the players. And after this one, the officials, the fans, everyone's going to have to take a, uh, a needed rest. Yeah, exactly. But I tell you what, they showed me the heart of a champion here in this one. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the side. Doris? Jose, congratulations on the win here tonight. How important was winning this game following your last loss to try to reestablish some momentum? Well, I think we played better. I think we're getting confidence. I know it was a bad loss, but we know what we have to do to win games. Uh, we got to be really concentrate. Uh, that's what we do. Stay, everybody got to be on the same page. Keep helping each other. Uh, that's how a team win games. Thank you so much. Back to you guys at the table. All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. Now we'll go to the studio with the award-winning Ernie Johnson. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan Player of the Game, Carmelo Anthony. He just owned the overtime period. It's hard to come up any bigger than that in clutch time. And he delivered some huge offense to help close out the win. We've seen so many performances like that over the course of Carmelo Anthony's career that we've gotten spoiled. But we shouldn't fail to appreciate what he has been able to do tonight. He was spectacular. When he doesn't try to do too much, Carmelo Anthony is absolutely lethal. And he had it going tonight. Well, his shooting percentage up there in the high 50s speaks to how smart his shot selection was. It was really an intelligent game he played, plain and simple. It's all about protecting each possession, and he set the example for them with his excellent decision making. 
And folks, that's